afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the World Class Basics pod. It has been a while. Oh, my. Uh, so we thought we'd kick it off with a bang. Um, look who I've got with me. Of course, it's uh, Adam, Bottom, and Liam in the middle. How are we doing, boys? All good, my man. Good to see your face. Unbelievable setup there, T. Whoever's watching. <laughs> oh, God. You wouldn't have known, would you? Placement. Yeah, he's got some. Uh, have you recently been working with a certain brand or two? What maybe? You, about? you know, I just. Last I just time, think last time my... I, well, you were sat in your living room, you had a coffee. Now he's moved to Chelsea. <laughs> Yeah, by the way, I was, guys. I was sat I was sat in a studio flat in Lark Hill and now we're in Chelsea. What's happened? <laughs> now, he's a, now he's an influencer, ambassador, he's in Chelsea. In <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what have you been up to since uh, last time? Since I last confess, time I, I, I'm actually a professional drug dealer, um, breaking bad style. <laughs> no, this is all for show. Can you imagine that? Oh my God. No, um... We have moved. I've moved to Chelsea, oh my God, four months ago now. I think the last pod, I, we were in the studio flat. So yeah, just moving in during the whole kind of madness with the pandemic and stuff. And yeah, that's it. I've just, uh, I've teamed up with Noco and, and Pure Sport legends that they are. And um, yeah, we're just, we're looking forward to next year. I think everyone's looking forward to next year. But uh, I, anyway, I, to be honest, I don't care what I've been up to because Liam, there's, there's something, there's an elephant in the room here or there's a child in the room. What's happened? What's happened? Ah, uh, well, my, uh, yeah, since last time, guys, I've had a son, Finn Lee James Holmes. He is here, healthy, yeah. strong. Good boy. Let's have a look, have a look, have a look, have a look legend. Uh, look at him. Hey, well, look at the biceps on him. Healthy, man. Absolute gun. Dude, he's got serious guns. It's not even like rolls, it's just like proper guns. So, uh, mate, he's unbelievable. We'll get him on the uh, pod at some point. <laughs> we'll, we'll, get him, we'll get him as a little guest appearance, don't worry. Um, mate, he's unreal. So, obviously, last few months for me have been um, a pretty pretty unbelievable experience and uh, it's, yeah, it's something you just roll with and I, I can't imagine now, obviously, my life without him and my missus has been unbelievable um, and we are in a sort of amazing routine and for us, lockdown is just an unbelievable chance now to spend more time with him. But, mate, yeah, it's family time. Is his nutrition on point, Liam? Mate, do you know what? So, um, we uh, like in his bottle and in, in his formula, like, mate, the first ingredients whey, whey protein, <laughs> hydrolyzed whey as well. Hydrolyzed whey. Add, you're missing a trick here, mate. You need to get whey into baby formula. This is the, <laughs> like, oh, honestly, bro, you'll be, you'll be cleaning up. It's so expensive. Mate, looking at Finley, he doesn't need it. He's he's doing all right as it is. This is why I'm just saying, if it's good enough for babies, for growing babies, you guys have got to be on it. But um, hey, I'm not. Let me let me know his macro split, man. He's looking. Hey, he's on, he's on, the, uh, <laughs> on the macro formula, mate. He's on the all in one. He's got all of the vitamins. <laughs> keto, keto, baby. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, lads, it's yeah. We've just been doing that and uh, yeah, man, trying to take so it. Good. Well. From a nutrition point of view, as as usual, um, but yeah, happy days. Ad, what what have you been up to? Give us an over uh, an update. Oh, what have I been up to? Uh, well, I've moved. I've actually moved as well. Not not penthouse like like Mr. Lowe, but I've I've oh moved back to the motherland that is that is Cornwall. Um, so yeah, uh, didn't make the most of stamp duty because it's not my missus's first home, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. But yeah, we're down here now, and actually locked down here is. is don't want to rub it in or anything, but I'm three minutes from Fishtal Beach, so it's it's just madness down there. Right down there, then. Yeah, it's it's amazing. But I mean, it's been a, it's been a few firsts. So first time, but also um, first time with makeup on. I did a shoot uh, a few weeks ago. What? Yeah, so we were doing some shooting for Wade and film and stuff, and they were like, "You probably want to have some stuff on your forehead to stop the shine." I was like, "Great, you know, I've got." slightly shiny forehead sometimes when I'm sweating um so they're like got to get a makeup artist in I was like great happy days this sounds good I just thought they'd be brushing the forehead you know every so often like they do on much of the day full face paint I was in the chair for 25 minutes I had stuff off your eyebrows I had bronzer I had the lot 
Um, <laughs> that's a first. It'd probably be, it won't be the last either. Imagine um, if we had to go down and get a makeup in. That's a roller for our about to get the shine. <laughs> Like, what the hell are we going to do with this? Why got the headband on? <laughs> Make a coat. I need, I, need an, I need an up lighter or something, not a down lighter in here. <laughs> Wait there as well. Ad, you've missed one point part. You dropped vanilla on us. I have to put that out there. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And a vegan protein. And a vegan and a protein. Vegan so protein. Yeah. We've been busy. Um, and we've Jesus. Got more Boys, yeah. slow down. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, been a big, it's been a big year. For, and also... I've signed up to the PH Hub. I know we're just dropping names, but I don't know if you've been on it, Tom, but it's just Liam's Hub. It's just ridiculous. The amount of content that's done there for five pounds a month. It's not even a, not even a, a PH paid athlete to say that. I didn't even know. Um, <laughs> that's what I've been doing. I've, I've, but, that's yeah, it's good. It's a bit of learning during lockdown, but it's 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 good. It's I'm glad uh, the podcast is back up and running. We were just saying before we came on actually that we decided to do our first podcast randomly out of the blue in like March and then we went into lockdown. We talked about doing this one a few weeks ago. We load, we're going to do loads face to face and then we go into a second lockdown. So we do follow a little bit cursed. So apologies. Yeah. But you know. The face to face three. will happen. <laughs> yeah. We'll let you know before we film a third series. Maybe we should let you know so you can plan when the next lockdown is. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we started booking things and then Boris um right i say we get into it um yeah. and uh, let's let's talk about something that i think everybody's struggling with at the moment uh and struggling to do kind of both fall into the same avenue is motivation and and being positive and positivity um goodness me what a couple months has been um once again another lockdown the ups and downs of all that i don't know about you guys but for me fantastic news biden finally beat trump um, but we're going to kind of talk about how we deal with, you know, um, motivational issues and, and, and being positive, give you a couple tips, um, and, and hopefully that'll help. So I, I'll, I'll start. Um, and before we go into this, I want to say that you have to understand that I am a single man living on his own. Okay. So I am not going to start preaching to families out there who have three kids jumping up and down at them, waking them up at 5 a.m. I'm just going to give my tips and pointers of how I go about the day positively. And if you are also living on your own, then this is quite poignant to you. And then we now have a family man in the pod who might be able to help. Um, yeah. And then obviously, Adam, I'm sure you've got loads of tips and pointers as well with the kind of business stresses that you've been going through as well. So um, let's take it like this, guys. If you're finding yourself in, in, a, in a bit of a negative rut um, and routine. You've got to ask yourself how you start your day. Um, and I drilled this into me a long time ago. Um, you can start your day negatively or you can start it quite grouchy. I promise you it'll just follow you through the day. And I've got myself into a routine now, even if I don't want to. I wake up and I put music on and it's always feel good music. It doesn't matter what James Brown or anything like that. And it's like feel good playlists. And sometimes I wake up in terrible moods and um, the music just gets you going. You go for your shower, you go for your wash, you start making your coffee. And all of a sudden, that kind of doom and gloom attitude that I'd started with, is, it's gone because I've put my mind into the song that's being played and I forgot what I was annoyed about. Um, so that's number one. If you can, when you wake up, put some music on, some feel-good music. And I promise you, it'll really, really help. That's the first thing I'd say. I don't know what you boys think about that. Um, yeah. Again, like I said, if you live with someone, it might be harder to do. Yeah, if you follow, you know, if, if you're not following Tom on Instagram, you, you bloody well should do. Um, not very nice. In the morning, <laughs> but I think it's become a thing, hasn't it? Like, do you feel that even doing that, like holding yourself not accountable to kind of put it on your stories and, you know, do you do the kind of coffee mornings and get it out there and do a little dance and stuff. but because you're doing that, that naturally kind of helps, even if you're doing it just oh. for, for, to, for social media, it actually kind of in turn helps you. Oh, 100%. Like I, people were like, have messed with me. Do you, do you actually do that? And I promise you, I have been doing this for a long time, but I thought I would share it and it snowballed and the, the, the messages you get are so amazing. Or, Thank you. Or I was feeling really negative and now I'm going to go about my day and People sending in song requests and you can see, you, you, you know, and sometimes I do not want to do it. I promise you, I'm just like, I'm sore. I didn't sleep too well or something like that. 
and then I do it and I, I leave so much, you know, in such a better mood, I leave so much more happy on my way to work. And it's, yeah, it is, it's kind of a, it helps me as well, just as much as I hope it helps people. But um, like I said, it's not just a fad, it's not just for show. I'm sure if you knock next door to my neighbor and you ask them, what happens usually at 6, 6.15 most days? I'm putting music on. <laughs> but um, so that's, that was my tip number one is, is try to start your day as positive as possible because it will follow you throughout the day. And like I said, it doesn't have to be music. Maybe go online and read a, a couple of positive quotes or watch something inspirational really quickly, anything like that. Or if you do live with someone, immediately even if you had the row the next the day before give them a compliment hey good morning you look beautiful or whatever it needs to be anything like that you just start with some positivity and i promise you it'll come straight back at you but if you wake up and you say good morning i still hate you by the way trust me your day's gonna go like that <laughs> so that, <laughs> that's, the, that's the first one um i had a client who um cyril uh, who was a coach at chase missus up in um Manchester now works for Red Pill Training. He he said to me, like Liam, no matter what time of the day it is, like whatever time I have to get up, he said he always used to get up 15, 20 minutes just so he could have a coffee and read a little bit. I think it was like he just like no matter what time. Because he said that sets me up, it starts me in that. So he'd be up like 4 30. If he knew he had to get up for five to travel or whatever, it didn't matter what time he would always kind of get up and start his day in that way and when he said that to me i was like it's such a nice thing to do like you say you start you know you get the ball rolling and and, and if yeah, whatever it is exactly. it be, like I say, it doesn't have to be music it can be read no. four pages of a book or like you say listen to something whatever it is or have a bit of quiet time even with a tea or coffee or whatever i think like might... say, in the right way is a, is a really good thing no, it's, this is discipline. It might sound a bit naff, but you know, this just came from the military. But one, one thing is, is to make your bed. Just start. The t a lot of people don't do it, right? And just to start the day, make your bed. There you go. You've literally accomplished one task immediately. I sound ridiculous. It sounds cheesy, but just by not doing that, I know deep down it'll agitate a lot of you. Oh God, I, I was lazy again. I didn't even make the bed. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm sad. I do actually take pride when I, when I made the bed. I look and I'm like, yes. <laughs> and then I crack on. Doing these six AM dances, were, were they getting a bit annoyed? Or oh no! So in in training, in basic training, when you all got woken up and it, you're getting shouted at, it wasn't like that, unfortunately. But when you when you leave basic training, you get your own place, you get your own pad, right? So I, I've always been doing it, but uh, when it was in a group environment, I didn't want to impede. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on everybody else. I don't think I would have lasted long either. I would have been barely buried in the camp. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was that was tip number one. You know, find a way. It doesn't have to be music or, like I said, but try and start, you know, as positive as you can and, and do something that's rewarding or, you know, um, like Liam said, have a coffee, read a book, something, just give time for you at the very start of the day or give a compliment to your spouse, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the, the second, the second thing I was going to, um, bring up is I, especially through this period of now is I do feel a lot of people are kind of bottling everything up and people are, are scared to, to moan or, you know, because there's a lot of going, there's a lot of negativity going on and we're all trying to preach positivity and I, I preach positivity all the time, but remember we, we are allowed to moan and you need to do it. Um, you need to vent and you need to get off your chest. Now, um, I would, I would steer away from moaning and venting on social media. I do think that's where we get this negative um, kind of suction. Um, however, choose a friend. Uh, I, I, he, he will have no drama in me saying this, but Faisal for me over lockdown has been unbelievable. So from time to time, we just voice note each other. And these voice notes can never be shared because we are going at it. Like, and I will just blur out, you know, all my negative thoughts and I'm struggling with this and fuck this and, and it can be quite rude. Um, and I promise you, nine times out of 10, after you just feel amazed, I feel better, he'll then give advice or I'll give advice back to him. This one time I, I had a big old rant about something that was going on in my life. And he just said, dude, you know, that, that person in that situation, they're not in your life anymore. So why are you wasting energy on it? Just leave it. He's like, you're right, but you're gonna fix, you're gonna fix nothing 
by fixating all this energy on it, just park it. And I promise you, it was like, boom, gone. Yeah. Um, so tip number two would be someone you trust, brother, sister, family, best friend. If you don't have anyone, you can, um, you know, um, bring up Samaritans. You can talk to anybody, but just find someone you can vent to because we cannot bottle all this 2020 up. It is okay to get stressed and it's okay to want to just tear into something. Um, you just need to do it in the right way. Yeah, I think that's important because I think the people that do use social media yeah, and follow people like yourself and Faisal, naturally they're going to see that you're bouncing around the room, you're smiling all the time, and that's what you need to be doing in the mornings. But actually what's really interesting to hear is that actually that's not 100% of your life. Um, you know, you're choosing to be positive, but also people might think, oh, Tom's fine, he's always happy, but it's not always the case. And I think it's good for people no. to hear that that everyone else is filling, no matter if you're a glass half full or, you know, the whole bottle's full in your case, you know, it's, um, yeah. it's good to know that, not good to know, but you're not, you, you know, you have your downtime as well, so. Oh, 100 percent, mate. And it's just like I said, I, my personal belief is I just don't feel social media should ever be used for that, that kind of negative hate on hate or rant. I just feel it, it really create something we don't want and that's why I, I will only choose my page to be positive i might i might shout at boris every now and again but i feel like uh, it's the one place you need to go and and, and you, you do need to see positivity and i think that's the only way it should be and i know it's not but that's just the way i see things but um yeah yeah and you're and you're right i remember i think it was quite early on the pod days i came on and it just wasn't right wasn't it i was all over the place and i said mm -hmm. boy i can't do it today and you boys really helped me and we had a chat and we we rescheduled right so it's like I said, you, you just need to find somebody or somewhere where you can vent and get rid of this this stress because if you're not stressed this year, then goodness gracious me, <laughs> I need to meet you. <laughs> because, uh, it's been a hell of a year. <laughs> yeah, it's not, like you say, I think mean, it's very good to, to open up and say like, because people will look at you know you and, and, and other people and you know, social media is a snapshot, isn't it, uh, of what's going on and you know, it isn't papering over, like, always be positive, like, you know, you should always be 100% and crushing it. Naturally, it is okay to, to make sure that you, I think, channel that in the right direction. And then also, like I say, have this, this other channel where you can just kind of, like, vent a little bit and so it doesn't impact, you know, that side of things. So I think that's really good, Pete. Um, yeah. yeah. I, got, I got one more, and then, and then I've got that's my little tips. That's my little tips. Yes. Um, it's going to be an obvious one and a cheesy one. Um, guys, train in any way, whatever it may be, whether it's ping pong, tennis, lifting weights, uh, Pilates. I promise you, if you're not training in any way whatsoever, you're just not, you're, you're just not going to get the good endorphins. You're not going to see progress in yourself and your health. And it, it just, it's just everything, the community you can build from it as well. So, say through this lockdown or you're not a very active person, I know a lot of the listeners are, um, but just get that into your life more and more and more and just watch what happens. Again, I'm not even going to kind of say what you should do. Just train, find a way to move and see what happens after. Um, feel the good endorphins and, and you'll want to do it again. Um, mm. That's a really basic tip, but they're my three tips. <laughs> Meant to that. Yeah. And I think you're the same as me um, is that sometimes you know training can seem like oh well, i've got to, to to train to achieve a certain body composition or a certain weight lifted or whatever was actually i use it and i think you said you've used it in terms of a massive switch off from work mm -hmm. uh, and, and sometimes it's like a, a, a clarity point a thing for me like if i train it's the only time i don't really think about kind of work or or whatever and actually then it just refreshes my mind and I can come back and you feel a little bit more motivated um, to kind of get at things. Um, so they say, Tom says, like, train. It doesn't mean going and lifting weights. It could be, like say, walking, running, rowing, uh, playing a sport. It doesn't mean, yeah, to anything. But like you say, training your brain or training in some form and switching it off, I think is, yeah, I think that's, that's wicked, mate. Does drinking cans of Noco on repeat classify as training, Tom? <laughs> This one is caffeine free. It oh, is caffeine like third of the day. <laughs> yeah. what, happens, I don't, I, what happens if you mix CBD with knocko? In terms of the caffeine? Yeah. 
So someone said this to me, actually. Someone messaged me on Instagram because they saw me putting drops of CBD into my coffee. Um, personally, for me, um, I, don't, I don't find that it, you know, calms me down in terms of when I, like, someone said, aren't you making yourself, like, sleepy and then giving yourself caffeine? But honestly, for me, I put the CBD drops into my coffee for what it does for me, for my aches and pains and the kind of anxiety and stuff of like that. Trust me, I've never had a problem with energy <laughs> in any way. Or So it's just for me personally, it's not been an issue. I They do recommend, you know, a couple of drops before bed. Um, so just trial and error, trial and error on that. <laughs> yeah. but for me, it's, it's, not, it's not a sleeping tablet, is it? I mean, I have it before bed, no. but it doesn't send me to sleep. But when I am asleep, I can sleep better. Yeah, yeah, it's that's that's it, mate. It's it's yeah. For me, it's the the aches and pains, the the, the anxiety. Not that I have crazy anxiety, but I do have worries, man. And 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 for me, this maybe it's placebo. But like I said, I've I've tried it. I've tried weeks without it, and I've done loads of stuff with Roop where I've looked at my sleep and analysis, and it, the proof is there. My sleep is better. I sleep longer. My sleep is better. I'm gonna do a, a little study or post a little study about it in a couple of weeks' time. Because uh, I do feel it's important. I, and I think it's a massive taboo topic. topic. So people still think this is bloody marijuana. <laughs> uh, I don't want to talk anymore about sleep because it's a sore subject. So. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> if you're drinking like, liters yeah, of CBD, man. it's not going to help. Like, oh, man, I had such a bad night's sleep, like nine hours. And like, <laughs> yeah. Like, Ten hours. So. Um, but Green's over like, Liam is two hours sleep, isn't it? Yeah, no, he's not looking too bad. Um, uh, but mate, motivation for me at the moment, like I, I was actually, it's so, it's so challenging. Any, anybody that has sleep deprivation from any kind of source, whether that's shift work, parenting, whatever. Um, it's so tough. It's really tough to kind of, you know, and I'll say, I love training, love going to the gym and doing it. But oof, when it, when in the first few weeks, man, it's, I just didn't want to do it. And when I did, when I was there, it was really tough. So you know, I did take some time away and like you say, needed to get that motivation back. But kind of my tip is when I, I wasn't motivated, you know, and if I sat around waiting to be motivated to train, I would have probably never have got back to it. So for me, like action equals motivation. And maybe people have heard this before, but you, you need to do something and it needs to be small. It doesn't need to be like massive, but you need to do something. And once you do it, you're like, ah, oh, okay, I kind of feel good now. You know, and it might be a 10 minute run. It might be 10 minutes mobility. It might be uh, I don't know, a few press ups and sit ups in the morning. It doesn't it need to be as much, but once you do it, you kind of, it's that snowball effect and you know, action. And then you start to get motivated again to get back into it and be like, okay, I kind of want to train again. I want to do this, get fit, I feel healthier, blah, blah, blah. Um, so for my, my, my tip for motivation is actually if you wait around for motivation, you're probably going to be waiting for a long time. Mm. And oh, yeah. You need, need action. And, uh, you know, for me, that's what I did. I needed, I just, you know, I, I wasn't doing, again, I, I've said this before, like I stopped kind of doing Olympic lifting because it was such a, a big ask. And I just went back to doing a bit of strength training, went to the pure gym, started doing bench rows, strict press squats, really simple stuff that I didn't necessarily need to warm up with loads. Did you, wear, like, did you wear over your headphones and a hoodie? Mate, I, I didn't talk to anyone for about three weeks in the gym. So uh, <laughs> and, then it get like the awkward nod that you see the geese as, as chain, chain at the same time. You're like, yeah, I see you, right? Well, that's, um, that's it. That's it. That's no, but sometimes, I bet sometimes you dragged yourself there, right? Sometimes you literally have to drag yourself there. But I bet then 10, 15 minutes in, you're so happy you got there, right? That's it, mate. No, you, you, have to, you have to drag yourself there. And that action, exactly, you just kind of, it's not forcing yourself. I don't want people to be the same, like, you know, doing something that you don't enjoy. But, yeah, just getting that action, like, say, forcing yourself maybe to just get there. Because you know that actually once you do it, you're like, oh, I feel so much better for it. Mm -hmm. um, and when you're sleep deprived and, and you know, it, you don't want to get into that vicious circle of being, like, detrained, eating bad, sleeping bad, you know. So there is, for me, I was like, my motivation was to be like, I know I feel better after doing this. And look, I'm nowhere near as fit as I was whenever, like before this, but I feel okay and I feel better. And now sleep's getting a lot a tiny bit better then. Like you say, your motivation snowballs and you can kind of, you know, put it in the right direction to to get back to, to some form of, you know, structure. So I just think that that's what a lot of people miss. They kind of wait around for motivation. Like, you know, 
before Ad, I let you jump in on this, like I, I posted something on uh, Instagram the other day, the other week, uh, about the importance trap and actually how some people go, no, never actually get started because they put so much emphasis on a goal or something, you know, and they're like, oh, it's like, I want to lose five kilos, 10 kilos, and I'll start Monday or I'll start in January or I'll start after me summer holiday. You know, and the problem is, is they put so much importance on this goal that actually they never get started. Um, so for me, like, if you make small goals similar to UT, like just train, get up, be positive, you know, for me, just start doing something, all of a sudden, like, you know, you will work towards your goal. And, and I think if you get, if, if you are that person that's kind of always set a massive goal or, or you know, always kind of be like, oh, Monday, it's always Monday's problem or start Monday, then I was like, look, You've got to start now. Mm -hmm. like, don't yeah. start on a. You can you can start on a Thursday. You can start on a Sunday morning. It doesn't make, you need to be like at the start of the week or the start of the year or whatever. So, um, yeah, just get it done. That's the, I think uh, yeah, the action brings action. One is something that um, it just always works in the same way that inaction breeds inaction. Like if you just sat at home, it's just easy to get. You know, Netflix just rolls through. Oh, it's just oh gonna, yeah. Have you, have you heard that they're gonna? You know, it says, "Are you still watching?" or you know that after yeah. like two hours they're taking that off apparently so oh, so you can just roll through now just roll through <laughs> sunday which is fine oh. but you know it's i don't think i think if you're too inactive i think that's in the same way that i don't know exact science you're just gonna be bored aren't you? you're gonna not gonna have the motivation your point about motivation is it's really clever actually i think people are lack motivation rather than anything else during lockdown because they don't know what's going to happen. The fear of the unknown is is massive, and everyone's in the same boat. We said on the we said this six months ago, but you know you can't control what you can't control. So go for a walk, go for just a run, get on keep doing or, stuff. Yeah, you just gotta keep you, doing stuff. Like these situations aren't going anywhere, you know. And 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 life is life is tough. So you can you can get in that rut and doom and gloom it. But I tell you, we have one life, and and I I know it's cheesy, but I, I can see it. I've been to Afghan, I've seen war it will be over at some point so before that get things done and enjoy it along the way and just bring people with you um it, like i said i I'm, I'm probably mr cliche today but i i do genuinely believe it and it does help and it does work you know yeah how have you found lads uh, in terms of your training motivation for lockdown because mate my, my i was really struck like i just don't want to do any dumbbells and burpees if i'm honest so i've got a i really on. struggle yeah yeah, so nah, I really you're, you're so right. New, like I need to do something new to keep me motivated. So I've got a rower coming tomorrow. At least that's going to give yeah. me something to, to uh, you know, certainly new rather than going. Natural rowing machine or a row boat? Oof, geez, I, 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 you know, <laughs> my gaff ain't, you know, that big. I can't be like chowing down a rowboat. Like, I, I need to get that stuff done in 25 minutes. <laughs> Do you not live on the town? Oh, taking it down to the river, all along Canterbury. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Imagine you doing all the way rower. Not even, I couldn't even get a concept too. I've got some other shocker of a rower, but it's going to do. So, mm. um, but yeah, T, Ad, you struggling a little bit? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm, the, I'm exactly the same. I couldn't do a burpee or a, a squat or a push-up again. I just, I did so much during, we did our home loan workouts, you know, in the first lockdown. And it's just, I think a lot of people are saying, they're like, great, they had a load of motivation for the first lockdown. I'd do something different, I'll train at home. And I think the second one, people are like, I don't want to do that again. I want to still be in the gym or I want to be able to do, see people. I'm a little bit lucky because I'm in a different place now so I can, just go and surf every day, which is what I've I've done two hours a day for the last Amazing. four days. Just I'm Amazing. very very lucky. Um, yeah, and I'll do that. Have again. you noticed though? Have you noticed a lot of people have got kit now? You know, there was that mad surge in prices. Mm -hmm. I have noticed a lot of people got kit now, which is um, the same for me. Like I, I'm the same as you boys. I that first lockdown, oh, and I I got no. I just I don't want to work out in my own living room, and like I've always wanted to go somewhere, but now I've actually got kit. But I found the big one for me is um, trying to join somebody in a workout or do a workout with somebody, whether it's Zoom or on Instagram. Guys, it makes such a difference. Like yesterday, I'll give you an example. I was in the laziest mood ever. It wasn't going to do anything. And I was, I was rested. I had like wicked recovery. 
And then um, obviously Fergus is doing this madness. He's, he's um, climbing Ben Nevis 32 times, right? And everyone was like, right, guys, we're all going to do, you know, he's struggling for motivation. We're all going to do workouts today. And everyone started pinging their ideas through. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And I was like, oh, Jesus. And then I saw a little workout. I was like, I'll do that with you. And all of a sudden, I was then doing a workout in my living room with all kit. And at the end, I was buzzing. But mm. until that point, I wasn't going to do anything. So try and, you know, um, reach out to people, people you know might like to work out or follow some accounts that you think might help you or they post good content and, and, and workouts and try that way because it is hard. And I, I totally feel I, I totally feel for everyone, but I do feel as well now, a lot of people do have kit, which makes a big difference. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to following some of your workouts, even like, just like you say, that rowing one or doing something like um, one of my clients, Jamie Green, she did one on like, just like a, like say one piece of equipment, it was like a ski, but it was like an EMOM of like ski, pull-ups, press-ups, and one round of Cindy, yeah. and I was like, that's so good, because I actually like, I can row, I can do pistols, I can do press-ups, and actually it's something different, yeah. because people have got a little bit of kit, so I think like say, get get on a get on a couple of people, and just say, a month isn't that long, is it? Hopefully it's going to no, fly No, exactly, uh, and you and just you made a very, up. very, very good point there. You made a wicked point, let somebody do all the thinking for you. If you if you can't conjure up the mind strength to, to plan a workout, just get find someone who's done it for you and jump on with them. And then all of a sudden you're in. You've just got to turn up then. Do you know what I mean? And and the hard work is done, you know? So and there's plenty out there, trust me. <laughs> there's just, there's a lot of workouts out there at the moment. That's why PTs are so successful, right? Because you know they work <laughs> having someone shout at you <laughs> even exactly. on zoom like it just makes you more accountable so i think yeah works no, it's good lads like i said hopefully we will like say we're at, like say tom it's it's going to end at some point hopefully we'll be back in the gym before christmas um yes you know hopefully people have kind of found this this to be helpful in terms of like say a few tips to take away and mm-hmm. you know it's the other thing is that like, I, I say this a lot to my clients and, and now to my like people that follow me, you're doing better than you think. Like a lot of people are doing better than they think and it can be a little bit hard on themselves. Um, so just, you know, the other thing is like sometimes we can, be, we can be very guilty, especially in the CrossFit world, of just hammering ourselves all the time. And if we're not burying ourselves on double days or four-hour sessions or back-to-backs or whatever, we almost feel guilty. And actually... I encourage my clients to be like an elite athlete and I'm like elite athletes don't train a hundred percent every single day of the week. And they also don't train a hundred percent every single day of the year. They have off seasons, they have winter breaks, they have, you know, time off, you know, they, in the week their their training load will undulate um, to allow the time to recover. So look, we've got another three weeks of lockdown left just over. In that time, maybe use this time to deload. You probably haven't deloaded since last lockdown, so allow a little bit of a deload. Then you've only got two weeks. Two weeks. Let's go. Like, you know, I, I think if we can, we can just kind of frame it like that. Maybe use some of these motivation tips. Um, don't know what you guys think. Food wise, Liam. Food wise, if you're deloading, just very quickly, mm-hmm. does it if to change that to lower calories, lower carbs, but keep the protein up? Maybe. What yeah, I definitely think. Uh, adjusting adjusting it slightly I wouldn't say that it, it depends what your goal is okay so if you do if you're deloading um, and you're maybe trying to lose a bit of body fat then yeah maybe dropping carbohydrates and fats and keeping protein relatively consistent would be a really sensible thing so overall calories drop slightly but if you're trying to get stronger if you're struggling to potentially pull on muscle mass or, or, or weight then keeping your intake relatively high during that deload week will help you to almost kind of like repair regenerate put a little bit of you know put a bit of a, a, a fuel in the tank effectively but allow your body to have the raw materials to build and grow so then you you know you're basically recovering from a physiological point of view maybe hormonal point of view energy point of view um, from the, the from the heavy sessions that you've been doing, but then you've only got maybe kind of two, three, four, five days before you're going back into training, and then you're going to be fueled going into that and feeling amazing. So when you hit a new block of training, you're going to be you're going to be flying as opposed to restricting your intake 
and then you know it's like that day after a rest day when you feel a little bit sluggish and you can you know it takes you a couple of days to get back into it so identifying what your goal is but keeping protein intake consistent and then adjusting carbs and fats if you want to gain muscle or, or, or lose mm-hmm. a bit of body so i hope that kind of helps yeah i've got one final fun fact if you started an advent calendar tomorrow it will end on lockdown's final day in theory so ah. go out we're going, we're, going, we're going double 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 advent calendar well if you started yesterday you go double advent calendar so you could but if you start an advent calendar tomorrow, by the time you have your, it's Christmas Day. That's the last day of lockdown. So, um, oh, actually, you I better like get this, that. Better get this pod out because it, soon because it'll be wrong. And then for the <laughs> <this time>. <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah. But if you start you like it. it's the eighth today, so if you start eight hours to get this out, <laughs> have a couple of chocolates <laughs> on the first day. So yeah, that's interesting. I heard oh. that yesterday, so you can share that one. Um, oh, and also, last bit of advice for motivation. Listen to this podcast. Go into your phone, oh, yeah. Spotify, yes. Apple, whatever. It's going to help you. It's helping us. Um, happy days. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Definitely. So that's uh, it. We're back. We're back at it. We're, we're, the world class basic pod is back. A couple of months out of the game. Um, we've got some wicked guests lined up. Um, we're just going to wait until we can see them in person. I feel it would benefit everybody, and you guys will love that. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna start churning out some pods. So. Make sure you've got it liked, saved. Make sure you've got a notification that comes on once we're releasing these guys. And please share. Um, and ready? I hope I remember this right. Send in your questions to info at worldclassbasics.com. Adam? Mm. On the money. Yeah. <laughs> Six months to um, learn that. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, it's a pleasure as always. Um, stay strong. Motivation tips today and positivity tips, guys. Just follow them, and I promise you, it will help massively. And uh, we'll be back with with loads more world class basic uh, bits of advice, as we should say. <laughs> nice. Good to see your faces, lad. Right. Yes. Take care, guys. Speak to you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>